<laughs> so, Mama, what recipe are you showing us today? So, we're going to do stuffed tomatoes. It's completely vegan because I heard Woo! that Carly is yes. yes. vegan. I love it. She takes vegan healthy meal. eating to a whole new level and she's schooling <laughs> us here at the jam. So, it's here's delicious. another example. Tell us about it. So, this is really great. This is a finished product here and it's a stuffed tomato. Okay. And we made our stuffing here out of quinoa, dried blueberries, and we talked earlier about switching it up with dried cranberries. Yeah. You could do dried apricots, whatever you want, really. Yeah, take a look it at this, guys. So it's good. so you good. Guys, it's so good. Quinoa is really good yeah. for you. There's walnuts in there, tons of parsley, lots of cumin, Ooh, um, a little bit of lemon, salt and pepper, of course. It's very simple to do, but there's just a lot of little ingredients. Yum. And you can add as little or as much, you know, that you want. More vegetable spinach. Mm -hmm. You could really do a lot of stuff. Um, and then you take a beef tomato. Okay. Huge like, ones. Beef? Are you gonna <laughs> one? One this is the only beef you're gonna have. Yeah. Here, the okay. Beef. This is See, true. these are huge. You know how I roll. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, show you girls how to. Yeah. School up. Yeah. So Ooh. we have you to. You know, it would be the most simplest things, and then here we go screwing it up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so let it's us so know. So pretty how you do it too. I'm so we want to take the seeds out. Okay. Because that's where we're gonna put our stuffing, right? So, and this you save because you could turn it into tomato soup, yes. marinara. Oh, that's so the, don't throw that part. away. Yeah. I made a mar homemade marinara yesterday. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Really? That is the best. My neighbor has a basil good. plant that she shared with me, and I was like, I've got to take it. Oh, you have to use that. Yeah. I love it. And then we just then scoop spoon it out. out. Yeah, spoon it out. So um, when we do get these finally loaded up with all yes. those goodies inside, yes. how long are we putting this in the oven? So then what I'm going to do then is then we put a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, okay. the tomato on oh. its own okay. in the oven for like 20 to 30 minutes ah, just so that and you could put, out. yeah, I put even garlic, salt. At what temperature? Cumin, about 420. Okay. okay. And then you put as much, you know, you could put all the spices that you want. And then when it comes out, since this is already cooked, then you okay. make your quinoa, this stuff is ahead of time. Then we stuff it. Wait, so this is cooked separately. So you're cooking the quinoa yeah, and then you're putting own, it with right, all the other stuff? Right. Or this the is, other stuff is cooked inside the quinoa? No, you cook the quinoa on its own. This okay. you cook on its own. And then when it's all done, you stuff I it. Know. So let's, let's just say we already put this in the oven. We put it back in just to warm it all through. Okay. And then we have this. Ta-da! Ta-da! You garnish this too. You gotta so try cute. it. And then... Okay. This you, is a really good nice Yeah, so we have some pesto. This has cheese, so it's not vegan, okay. but... Uh, they have if, vegan pesto too, though. Yes, you can do, <laughs> yeah, you can do vegan pesto. And then this one, time. ladies, if you want... What's this? Felicia. Ooh, drizzle. Okay, drizzle, 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 drizzle. drizzle. This is a really silly question, but do you eat the tomato with it, too? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. And, and this would be good. <laughs> I didn't put too much on there. Okay, I got okay. another question, Mama. Yes. You got kids. Yes. Do your kids eat this? Um, they're kids, so they don't always eat it, to be honest. Okay. But I always think They'll as learn parents, to. yes, like their taste always grows. Okay. So you have to always introduce these okay. things so they're not ignorant to good food. Oh yeah, God, and maybe, good. like you said, maybe using it as a side, you love it? It's so good. Oh, it would be good as a side to, with steak, mm -hmm. grilled chicken. Yeah. This would be good as a side dish, too. It's yes. a good winter meal, too. Yes, I was going to say, maybe as a side, because as a kid, it could be daunting, especially too much. if you're calling. Like, what do I do with this? You know, if you tell them what's inside. Of it, yeah. they may be like, oh my goodness, what but I love it? that it's something different. Thank you it's so much. So I hope I'm glad that you it's liked so it. It's so good. And I feel like usually you see rice in these, but quinoa has got quinoa so much more good. protein. And this is good for the holidays too. Like have it all out and when <gasps> you're having your holiday buffet at home. That's a good oh thing. Oh my gosh. Good thing to bring. Good thing to bring. You like it? Mm -hmm. Do you like the, the oh blueberries? It Thank has you. more texture than I thought. Yeah. I didn't think that that was going to be that good. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm so Delicious. happy. <laughs> well, follow Mama Cuisine on social media and at her website, mamacuisine.com, for more recipes.